No cap was provoked. The victim said, hey, come slide through this bitch. Bet you won't, LeBro. No cap slid through that bitch. Had one of these motherfuckers start blinking at that. No cap reached out to Lil Baby to squash whatever was going on behind the scenes while he was locked up. But Baby wouldn't respond to him. And that's when the... No cap, boy, you doing that, boy? I, hey, it's it's a rumor, but if it's true, boy, talking to, you talking little baby, trying to squash beef, you wasn't? Damn, no cap. Them old niggas is still R.I.P. rules. But we gonna ball in the meantime if a nigga get out of the line. We gonna bust their head. Is this, is this nigga I be manager white? Why the f*** is he using that? What's good in your tub in the mirror reaction group? We got so many things going on in the music industry and in the black industry as a whole. But we got No Cap versus NBA Youngboy beef. We got Bobby Smurda beef with NBA Youngboy. We got Wack 100 beef with Bobby Smurda because Wack 100 said Bobby Smurda like to mess with them transgenders. I don't know, man. But hey, man, today, man, one of the things we finna be reacting to is 4KT versus 4PF, Lil Bay versus No Cap. Hey, man, I'm like a waste of time. This video is eight minutes long. It's by the people at Hip Hop Daily. You dig what I'm saying? But hey man, let's get right to the video. I'm not gonna waste our time. We on the road to that big 10 k so make sure you hit that subscribe. Let's get it. Before the video starts, 94.1% of y'all are not subscribed. So turn that not subscribe into subscribe. Or I'm gonna hunt you down in your sleep. Period. I'm also here just to give my and my opinion. NBA Youngboy has beef with almost everyone in the industry, and now he's taking shots at his own artist too. A rapper from Alabama named No Cap used to rock with Lil Baby and 4PF. Then he signed with Youngboy and became cool with all the 4K trade dude. Now he's got beef with both sides and the whole situation. That's crazy how NBA Youngboy signed Quando Rondo, E Youngin, and No Cap. And we don't know how these n met up. You know what I'm saying? Because Quando, he from Savannah. And Hip Hop Daily just said No Cap is from Alabama. I get why P Youngin and Youngboy met up because they both from the same, you feel me, same city. But how the hell Youngboy get these? Hey, that's just a thought of mine. She's getting out of control. Here's what's going on. No Cap came up in Mobile, Alabama, started making music at just nine years old. His mom's boyfriend helped No Cap and his brother get into the industry, and they were performing all around the city while they were still kids. His mom eventually broke up with the dude, and No Cap took a few years off from music. But when he came back, No Cap linked up with his homie, Rilo Rodriguez, and it didn't take long for them to start buzzing. There's not a huge rap scene in Mobile, but No Cap and Rilo was building up momentum fast. In July 2018, No Cap dropped his debut mixtape, and a couple months later, he released a collab tape with Rilo. They linked up with Lil Baby before he was a superstar, and for a while, <clears throat> it looked like No Cap and Rilo were both gonna sign with him. They was all chilling and working together, and Baby even featured No Cap on the track Dreams to Reality off the Street Gossip Project. Baby told The Breakfast Club, Damn, I ain't know No Cap was on the feature with Lil Baby. Damn, I did not know that. Hold on. Sign with him. They was all chilling and working together, and Baby even featured No Cap on the track Dreams to Reality off the Street Gossip Project. Baby told The Breakfast Club that he signed Rollo and No Cap. He was helping him grow by putting them on his projects, so it made sense to fans why they signed with him. But No Cap says he never signed a deal with Baby. According to Baby, he ain't even know how to sign anyone yet. Basically, he was rocking with Rollo and No Cap and was gonna sign them once he figured out how to set up his own label. But No Cap wasn't trying to wait around for a deal. Around the same time, No Cap started rocking with Youngboy too. He started getting close with all the 4K trade dudes like Quando Rondo, and everything was still solid with Baby. In 2019, No Cap dropped the back end child and had features from both camps on the project. It looked like No Cap was gonna stay cool with everyone, but this ended up being the last time he collabed with anyone from 4PF. Rilo signed with Baby, while No Cap signed with Youngboy. And after all the drama that was about to go down, Rilo and No Cap are the only ones who ain't turn on each other. No Cap's name was picking up steam in the industry, but in September 2019, he suffered a setback when he was arrested for letting shots off at someone's house. According to the police, Damn, No Cap, you busting that? You rich and you busting that? Damn. Shots off at someone's okay. house. According to the police, No Cap got into a fight with somebody. After it went down, the victim told No Cap to come through. And that's when No Cap's sister drove him to their house and he started shooting. Ah, nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. No Cap was provoked. The victim said, hey, come slide through this bitch. Bet you won't, LeBro. No Cap slid through that bitch. Had one of these motherfuckers start blinking at that. I mean, that that's really self-defense if you think about it. 
Luckily, no one got hit, and No Cap ended up turning himself in after his sister got arrested. He picked up even more momentum from behind bars after Youngboy dropped their collab, Out of Here Safe, and then No Cap got released a few months later. According to rumors, No Cap reached out to Lil Baby to squash whatever was going on behind the scenes while he was locked up, but Baby wouldn't respond to him. And that's when the beef started heating. Whoa, 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 whoa. What'd he say? Whoa, huh? A few months later. According to rumors, No Cap reached out to Lil Baby to squash whatever was going on behind the scenes while he was locked up. But Baby wouldn't respond to him. And that's when the No Cap, boy, you doing that, boy? It's a rumor, but if it's true, boy, you talking to, you talking to Lil Baby trying to squash beef? Who was it? Damn, No Cap. Hey, it's a rumor. I'm just say that disclaimer, rumor. Beef started heating up. I don't up. believe it, but About it's a rumor. a year after he got out, no Cap put his issues with 4PF out in the open after a fan posted a photo of the Lil Baby family tree with No Cap's face and name under babies. No Cap reposted the pic on his IG with a giant red X and wrote, ain't no tree. That's when Baby's artist, Cold Hearted Savage, hopped in the comments and said, he know he wanna be gang. No Cap and Savage started going back and forth in the comments. Whoa, <clears throat> you know we gonna smash him at Cold Heart Savage. You so Pussy, damn. Go hard, savage. At the back end, child. You the definition of your name, cat. Damn. Go hard, savage. I'm gonna make sure I catch up with you first. Damn. Okay. And savage no made a post like IG, letting everyone know that no cap was banned from Atlanta. He wrote, he can't come back to Atlanta. He on punishment. We'll take a jewelry on some funny shit. No cap clapped back again. Then young boy and his manager hopped in to back him up. Fuck them old this is still R.I.P. rule. Damn. Back again. Fucking, we gonna ball in the meantime if we get out of the line. We gonna bust their head. Is this, is this Bobby manager white? Why the f*** is he using? And I'm, I'm, I must be tripping though. 120, I don't, his, his, his manager thing is Alex Jr. But I don't know who the f*** is this right here. Or Alex Jr. But he me young boy. Come on, damn. The young boy and his manager hopped in to back him up. So instead of it just being between No Cap and Baby, now 4PF and 4K Trey was both at each other's necks. Rilo made a post on his IG story, letting everyone know that he wasn't switching up on No Cap, but he was still rocking with 4PF. No Cap was- Hey, Rilo, you a real nigga for that. On the same you way, and on his IG story, he wrote, <clears throat> I love Rilo forever, but to set the record, everything around him. This is when the beef really started turning up. Some dudes in Mobile hop on social media and said that they wouldn't let the DJ play Baby in the club. But then another rapper Damn. who No Cap came up with and Project Baby Juice got involved. Juice and No Cap was homies back in the day. So No Cap didn't expect Juice to hop in and pick Baby over him. But Juice made it clear he's rocking with Lil Baby now. And he also did 1600, which is the crew from Mobile that No Cap reps. No Cap aired out the situation on the track, I Hope You Agree, where he said, my n changed on me for n that we barely knew, like that n juice. He took Damn. a shot at Lil Baby on the same track with four pockets, they full on me, and I heard the judge want me, acting like a because I ain't signed. What type of big homie? Baby clapped back with tracks like Again, Go Hard, where he raps, Somebody Killed, I'll be telling my youngins to chill. Check the stats, I do numbers for real, and this ain't no cap, I get money for real. That little boy ain't run up no commas for real. Then he referenced Cold Hearted Savage's IG post with the line, catch that boy out of place, we gonna punish him. Take his chain and his watch on some funny shit. It looked like the situation was getting more serious. But damn, little baby again was a diss to no cap? God damn. Then no cap got locked up again and everything cooled down for a minute. Back in February, no cap accused baby of not clearing his unreleased tracks with Rilo. Then he took the disrespect a little further when he dropped a comment with a hard eyes emoji to Lil Baby's ex, Jada. Nah, that, nah, no cap, you crazy for that, boy. You out of, you out Baby of Baby and Jada that. had just broke up, so sliding in her- <laughs> That's fucked up. That, that, nah, dude, that's fucked up, I ain't gonna lie. Comments everyone that's to see up. was definitely a shot at Baby. While no cap was beefing with Baby and 4PF, Young Boy, Quando, and the rest of 4K Trey stood up for him. Looked like they was all solid, but now, no Cap is sending shots back and forth for Young Boy, and this situation looks even more heated than his beef with Lil Baby. A few weeks ago, someone on Twitter told No Cap he needs to drop more music with Young Boy. No Cap is still trying to blow up, but he told the fan he wants to do it on his own so nobody can say he's only popping because of Young Boy. No Cap said they link up with the music later, but for some reason, this whole thing set Young Boy off. 
Youngboy hopped on the Never Broke Again's IG account and went off on no cap. He said he's not doing music with no cap because they not cool like that and said, you a fucking worker, b you ain't my brother, f you pay me. It looks like- Damn. I don't remember this shit in post. I pay this to all the slick ass shit he be doing and saying you a ass nigga. What I call a, ri a real rapper, we don't do music because I don't f with you. Stop speaking on me, you a fucking worker. You my brother. You ain't my brother. You pay me. Damn. Hey, they look, said you a worker. Damn. Looks like there was already static between them behind the scenes. And No Cap clapped back and said he's been holding it down for Youngboy for three years while he picks fights with everyone in the industry. Plus, Youngboy supposedly wanted No Cap. That's a fact. I ain't gonna lie. That's to a pay fact. him for a feature. That's a fact. It's wild for a dude like Youngboy to charge his own artist for a feature. But Youngboy's making it clear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Young boy, you charging your own artist for some features? Us, young boy supposedly wanted no cap to pay him for a feature. It's wild for a dude like Young Boy to charge his own. You want your artist to pay for pay for features from you? He signed to you. That's literally your investment. Not friends. After no cap's response. Hey, hey, mate, mate. Young boy. Did he say it was a rumor? Hold Everyone on. in the industry. Let me go back. Plus, young boy supposedly wanted no cap to pay him for a feature. It's wild for a dude like Young Boy to charge his own artist for a feature, but Young Boy's making it clear he's here to make money, not friends. Damn. After No Cap's response, Young Boy sent more shots calling him broke and said, "You play industry chess, but just don't know this game ain't got no loyalty. These rappers gonna kill your." <laughs> young Boy also said No Cap only linked up with him because he was popping, but when the beef got real, No Cap wouldn't even take a pick with Quando Rondo. Then he threw out another savage line and wrote, "Go make a song about it." Bitch. Make me some money. The show must go on. No Cap ain't even respond. The young boy wasn't finished yet. A while back, people thought No Cap was dissing a little dirt, but No Cap hopped online and squashed the rumors. He said that even though he don't talk to dirt, they keep each other's names out of their mouths. Young boy brought the situation back up and said it shouldn't even matter if people thought he was dissing an odd. Then he called No Cap a and said Quando is the only reason he's on the label. No Cap responded about not being broke and told Young Boy to get Quando a lawyer, but that was nothing compared to the shots Young Boy took at him. After they started going crazy back and forth, NBA Young Boy's fans dug up No Cap's old Facebook post where he was dissing Young Boy. Back in 2017, before his career popped off, No Cap replied to someone saying they listened to Young Boy 24-7 and said, can't even listen to the boy for 30 minutes. Damn. And in another post, he said, next say YB go harder than Kodak, I'm slapping your mama down. Nobody Damn. really knows why Young Boy went off like he did. There could be a lot more going on behind the scenes, but some fans think it's all over No Cap not taking on Young Boy's beef and putting on for the label. Young Boy and the rest of 4K Trey had No Cap's back when he was beefing with Lil Baby, but it seems like No Cap ain't holding down for them the same way. Lil Durk is one of Young Boy's biggest ops in the game right now, so No Cap is out of pocket for trying to stay. I wouldn't say that now because we do got Fredo Bang, which is which is in the same city as him, and Fredo Bang linked up with Lil Durk, so I wouldn't say Lil Durk is biggest op. I say he's the most famous op. I don't consider them ops though. That just circumstances gone bad. You know what I'm saying? That's not even, they not even ops for real. You hear me? Like, the video done anyways. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. No chance they're going to move past it. He got a little bit more, but I'm going to give you my thoughts after. It's not know. clear how the situation is going to play out, but it don't look like No Cap and Young Boy are coming back from this. Plus, Young Boy ain't really known for squashing B. It seems like he was never really tight with No Cap in the first place. So there's basically no chance they're going to move past it. This whole thing leaves No Cap in a tough spot, though. He signed to a label where the main artist and owner is sending heavy shots at him on social media. And he can't just go back and start rocking with Baby and 4PF again. Maybe Youngboy would just release him from his contract. But the situation is far from over. There's no telling what's going to happen next with Youngboy and No Cap. So y'all tap in for updates as the story develops. Nah, that's crazy. I ain't going to lie. But back to the Lil Durk NBA Youngboy thing. I don't even consider Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy being ops for real. Cause technically, Youngboy and Lil Durk has done nothing to each other. It's only their artists that done something to each other. Quando Rondo, Lil Tim, it's not even Quando Rondo, Lil Tim killed King Von. Lil Tim is friends with Quando Rondo, and Quando Rondo is an artist of NBA Youngboy. And you know, Lil Durk was King Von friend signed up, put him on straight like that. But I guess people want to say NBA Young Boy and Lil Durk ops. I guess because they do diss each other. You dig know what I'm saying? But they not ops for real, for real. They just, it's just 
circumstances gone bad type way. You dig what I'm saying? Because even though King Von was slight way dissy young boy, young boy, slight way dissy King Von, I think Lil Durk would have would eventually made a song with Indian Young Boy because Dirk was all about that money. If it was never if it was to never get bloody, Indian Young Boy would have had a song with Lil Durk. I, I solely believe that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, circumstances is circumstances and uh RP King Bond, you know what I'm saying? The the beef is wild. I'll just tell you that. Yeah, hey, I know y'all heard that I know y'all heard that new Quando Rondo XYB. Yeah, I know you heard that one me dead, boy. I know I know you did. You know what I'm saying? But hey man, without further ado, I'm not gonna but hey man, ho, but hey man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, you dig what I'm saying? I want to try something different. You dig what I'm saying? Just a little video to um to keep y'all occupied while I don't do the music reactions, you dig what I'm saying? Let me know if I'm entertaining. I don't know if I am. I feel like I'll be boring sometimes in the videos, but let me know down in the comments. But hey man, I love y'all. We are, man. Peace.